What's up guys, it's Charles here to do another review for this channel called Rocket Punch Army. And today we have something uh, direct from TF Direct. And they're helping me uh, do this uh, KO GX71 uh, series, which um, looks like they're on their way. Uh, last couple of videos I was kind of iffy on whether or not they were going to finish. It looks like they are. They've already uh, shown pictures of the Yellow Lion and Black Lion. So it looks like you're going to be able to continue. Um, I should have another video up by this time, if not, whatever, it's coming up, but apparently there was a small run of GX-71s that were available, and I snagged one, so. But um, for those of you that still can't get the GX-71, we have no clue when it's going to be released, so this is a good opportunity. Uh, these figures are a good opportunity for you to sort of have one, and, you know, the past couple of reviews, I've been showing you the differences, and whether or not it's, um, you know, worth it for you know to spend the amount of money because once you're done with these even though they've kept all so far the limb lines all the same price the small arm lines are the same price as the big lines and hopefully the black line is too much more it's pretty much what the original price of the GX71 was anyway so we're gonna open this up right here it's got a nice slip case as you can see it says blue liar blue liar lawyer and it's for ages 6 plus, and this is the uh, Fantasy Jewels BSW-03. So there's still two more in the series. Um, anyway, so we're going to slip the case off. With this one, you do get a nice little clamshell. And no, the blue line is not invisible. I just have, have them out because obviously I have to handle them a little bit before I show you guys. But um, it does come in a nice little clamshell case. Very reminiscent of like a Masterpiece Transformer kind of case. And it's pretty, you know, sturdy. You get the weapons here for the Blue Lion, and you get that little like stand thing that you can put together, which for me, honestly, it's pretty useless. I don't want to display anything with this, but uh, it's there if you guys want it. All right, so here we got it out of the uh, box, uh, so you guys can check it out. Someone was asking if it's a floppy mess. Well, if you listen to that, there is a lot of clicking going around. I do have the original here. You don't really hear that too much. And the legs are out, so it's not fair. So there's going to be a lot of weight towards the outside. But, you know, if that answers your question. I don't know about it being a mess. It is a little floppy. But we'll get into that in just a moment. We're going to expand the legs. I do have to say, these ratchets feel mighty awesome. Let's see how they feel on the Chogokin. These are, these are a little softer. They feel great, too. Obviously, Bandai has a lot of... Uh, experience with ratchets these feel really good they're a little harder and a little harsher but they feel good you can almost hear springs echoing but yeah so those are the ratchets there and the legs here now you did notice and you hear a lot of noise not exactly sure where that noise is coming from I think it's coming more from the play in the legs than it is like just actually hitting itself against stuff see what I mean so as you can see, it's it's got play, but the ratchets do hold it, so you don't have to worry about that. These, um, or the, whatever, shoulders, they don't have uh, ratchets, the original one doesn't either. They do hold firm. I'm just a little concerned about, like, this way. The reason it's fallen down, it's, this is solid metal, guys. As you can see, it's cast, I wouldn't say it's raw metal. Um, it's got a sheen to it like it has been through some kind of polishing process but definitely nowhere near what uh, Bandai has done mine's got fingerprints on it but it's pretty much like a mirror and this one is just like raw die cast which is fine it doesn't bother me too much you can see there's a little texture to it but it's fine I don't know it depends if you want it to look like chrome the chrome however on like the paws very good chrome it's nice and thick it doesn't feel cheap at all no signs of chipping anywhere you'll also notice that there is a little bit of metal right there on the joint I did notice metal also on the joint right here which is a midpoint of this and also to give you like uh, what do you call it angle I guess on the well you don't really need it in robot mode but whatever that that kinda joint don't know what to call it so 
I'm assuming this one is probably metal also. Yeah. So um, as far as the quality, I think it's it's nice. The plastic uh, looks a little swirly. I'm not sure. If, well, this one has swirls too. It's just not as noticeable. You know what I mean? So it's a swirly plastic. Hopefully it's not that brittle blue plastic. Um, another thing to point out is the tail. The other one just has a molded tail that does pivot at the base, but this one has an actual, like, um, segmented tail. But it's gray, which is kind of strange. So we'll compare these. All right. So I don't know why they didn't at least mold it in yellow. It just doesn't make sense. I guess so they can use them for all of them. This is probably the same thing that the red and green line use. Um, I don't know how much of the yellow line is going to share with this figure. So I know the red and green were pretty much identical except for color. They even had the same heads. I don't think they'll share the head with the yellow, obviously. That would just not be cool. What I did notice, and I'm sorry I'm breathing heavy. There's no air in here. Um, but what I did notice is that this weapon, well, first of all, the head falls off easily. I'll get into that in, in a second. Uh, this weapon doesn't come out. I don't know if you can see the base of the weapon. So essentially it's, it's this. Or maybe I can show you on the original, since this one does pop out all the way. See the blue base? It's got like a little like flat spot there. That spot is also, on this one, it's kind of hard to see. It's not blue, it's silver. But it extends under the red, very slightly. So it's just not enough space, and even if you move it over, I'm trying to see if you guys can see that. Even if you move it over, now you've really just pushed the other side under that red so it doesn't come out the only way it would be to trim down those sides so that's that's a little bit sad and the head popped off let me go ahead and grab it without knocking anything over over here i don't feel like editing that so the head came off right so and it's got spider webs from falling on the wall here um so this is the head it does have the same kind of joint to be able to remove it what i did notice is that this was super actually i got them connect it here for a second so I can spin it. Can I get a good spot to show you guys? Of course not. Let me spin it again. This is getting a little weird here. Anyway, there's a slot right there. And I don't know if the slot, it's really hard to turn. See the slot looks like it's got a lot of pressure on it. I'm sorry if I'm going off camera. I don't know if it's supposed to be like a V-shape or it's just spread open by the ball joint. Speaking of the ball joint, uh, I can move it right now because I had to put plastic grease. So it's like the grease that you can use on plastic joints. I had to do it to free it up. Otherwise, it was not moving at all and causing some articulation uh, issues. But that grease is not what's causing the head to fall off. I th just think this part is just pushed way in. If we take a look, I guess it is like a V-shape. If we take a look at this one. It's V-shaped, but you can see the bottoms don't flare out like this one. I think this one just was just shoved in way too hard, and I can't pull it out. But what happens is this is more sunken in, which doesn't allow it to grab that neck piece as well. It will grab, and it'll hold. See what I mean? It'll hold. But, like, for some reason, once in a while, it'll just fall off when you least expect it, especially after you've been handled. See? So... I don't know if that's going to be that big of an issue if you're really just going crazy playing with that. But, um, yeah, so that's just one thing to keep an eye out for. Otherwise, you know, it does articulate pretty much the same. All right. And we got the mouth here. We can open. Did I try to open this yet? No. There we go. And you got this missile here, which I thought swiveled up. I had to re-edit this. I thought it swiveled up. But you can see the way it looks like in there. And then you can see the original. See how it's painted in there? All right. And now that we've seen that, uh, how about the ratchets here? These feel like they're going to wear out. I don't know. It's, it just feels like just plastic just cracking into each other. It does seem to loosen itself up, but they're not consistent. Like one will be really ratchety. The other one will be really soft. It's probably just wearing out. But, um... You got the back here, same thing. This thing pushes in with the leg. This opens out. This has this uh, little release tab that you push in. Sometimes you can see that it gets stuck. The first couple of times it would just stay in there. Now it seems to be working its way in. It snaps right back out. And of course you got the other release button right here. 
Um, and it, it's pretty much the same other than that, guys. It, it'll do all the, the posing and whatever that you want it to do, just like the original. Just I wish this neck thing would just play nicely. Uh, the molding is different. I mean, we know that. We know it's going to be slightly different. The paint is different. It's obviously going to be a lot cleaner on the original Blue Lion. I did notice uh, the bottom of the heads were a little different. Right here, you'll see the bottom of the jaw is blue on this one, and it's the yellow extends out on that one. So they've gone ahead and painted that blue. They've taken an extra step. The little metal right here is painted black. The little heel on Voltron or Gold Lion. And this one is not painted on this one uh, the head sculpt is different so these are not coming from the same factory you can see the head sculpt is just slightly different it's wider on the uh, the, the nose is shorter you can see that all right but otherwise I think it's it's a good alternative I I, I don't know if I'm comfortable like paying 50 bucks for each line and possibly a little bit more for the black line because at that point it's the original price I think when I first uh, pre-ordered the GX 71 it was at 250 or 259 249 I don't know and then it jumped up a couple of dollars but lately it's been going for a lot of money and then there was a recent like find of a few of them from I guess Bluefin had them stuck somewhere in the warehouse and they decided to release them and a lucky few including me I just happened to walk into that um, uh, snagged another one because uh, the other one I have had a messed up box and what a nice one, but I still got a kind of messed up box, but whatever. At least I got another one that I can have. All right, so almost forgot about the weapons here. We're gonna open the mouth again here. And there's a little slot right there to put this little tab from the weapon. Was it this? I forgot what, or maybe it was the Trend Masters where you put the weapons, the paint would scrape off. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Hope, hopefully. Hopefully, that doesn't happen with this. Uh, let's put these things. This little antenna thing swivels around, which is a nice little touch. Did I put that backwards? No. That's, uh, are the screws supposed to be forward? Did it have screws on the original? Anyway, don't have the original weapons here to compare, but I believe the three holes face forward. I might be wrong. It just seems weird to have screws. So you would think, being such a huge Voltron fan, that I would know this stuff. Yeah, it looks a little weird with that. Maybe it is with the three holes. Maybe I should just wait to put this one on. Yeah, so that's how it is. All right, so the three holes face forward. It's got screws. There it is with the weapons. The tab in nice. It's got a nice little plastic uh, insert there for the metal, so holds them nice and firm while still being able to move them. And I'm sorry about blocking the light, guys. The lighting sucks here. But that's pretty much it, guys. You want to pick one of these up? Um, you can get them all, including this one, at tfdirect.com. I want to thank those guys for sending this out. They're also uh, going to send out the yellow and the black ones to released. And hopefully, you know, here and there, send me out some other things like they used to. So hopefully, uh, we bring in some more reviews from those guys. But um, that's it, guys. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Till next time, bye-bye.